Hello. Hello, this is Gail and Jenny Lynn. And this is a day in the life. In um, the Philippines? Yeah, a day in life in the Philippines. Uh, we're not going to call this a vlog because we're not doing a vlog. We're not walking around and vlogging. We're just talking to a camera. Uh, yes. We're talking to the hundreds and thousands of people behind this camera lens right here. So yeah, so we've been talking about doing this for a long time and been trying to figure out, you know, what do we want to do? How do we want to do it? We want to do something because we want to share with our friends and our families uh, what's going on with our life here in the Philippines. You know, we don't get to hang out with people. We don't get to sit and have dinner and talk about our day-to-day -day stuff. So kind of this is almost like the only way and oh, by the way, we can share a three or four minute video and uh, and tell everybody what's going on and that kind of thing. So, so what we're thinking about, this is our first one, what we're thinking about is okay. we're going to try this in maybe two or three times a week because we are, yes. you know, we are working and we do have routines, but uh, if we can do, you know, two or three times a week and get into a routine with that and of course the editing and everything that goes with it, uh, hopefully we'll have, you know, some interesting content you know will include you know if we go to the grocery store and just kind of bring some of, of the day-to-day -day life routines that we we do into this and then of course Jalen already has her sort of daily vlogs yes. that are just real simple little point and shoot uh, type videos that are real cute so uh, and then when we go and do things we obviously uh, record those and try to do edits uh, try to do videos of those but uh, today what we're trying to do is just sort of as an introduction to this series, if we want to use big fancy words, is just that uh, we're going to do these day in the life type videos where we're talking about the stuff that's going on. Um, I, I, I thought it would be good. We've been here eight months now and I thought it'd be a good idea to uh, talk a little bit about the eight months. Uh, we actually spent about an hour this morning recording a video and I sat down to do the editing and it was just so, so boring of me talking and talking. I'd like, no, this is not acceptable. So we're doing a different, a little bit of a different thing here. Much more abbreviated, much more straight and to the point, a lot less detail and hopefully keep it more interesting. But. But in summary, in brief, you know, we've been here eight months. We, we came to the, the Philippines in October of 2017. It's now June of 2018. So yes. within a day or two, we're, we're eight, here eight months. A ton has happened. Um, it's, it's crazy because on one hand, it feels like five minutes. On the other hand, it feels like five years. Not really, but it feels like a long time. And so, you know, we, we get here. Uh, thankfully, uh, one of our sister-in-laws had a connection and found our home. So we were able to come right into San Carlos City, pull right up to our front door, and move in. I mean, day one. So uh, it was about two or three months before we finally got all of our stuff. And so that was kind of aggravating at times when I wanted to reach for something and I couldn't, I couldn't find it because guess what? It's not here. It's on a ship out in the ocean somewhere. But we finally got all of our stuff. We've had, we've, that was, I think we got the last set of boxes about three or four months ago. All of my equipment, my sound gear, all of our household stuff, our clothes, everything made it. Everything, we only lost a couple of dishes maybe. I mean, as far as we know, everything's here. Uh, there were some things that we left behind that we hope to get shipped over here eventually. But, um, so, so, church we we have found us a great church we're going to an assembly of god church that uh we're real excited about it's it's kind of funny for me because most of the spoken is all in the local uh visaya dialect so i don't necessarily understand everything that's being said 
but uh, but the Holy Spirit is there. The the you know it's it's a great time of worship, and they're letting me play, so I get to play keyboard, and I'm having fun with that. Um, there's some also some ministry stuff that's in the works, and we're excited. Uh, I'll share more in detail as those things come. Uh, again, this morning I spent a good five or ten minutes talking about these opportunities. I'd rather just wait until they're actually here and we're involved in doing them, and then we'll post videos based on the activity. Um, but uh, in eight months, we we got moved into our house. We 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 bought a car. Uh, which makes traveling for work way easier. I can throw all my stuff in the car and drive to, we, we, I do a, 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 this one trip where I get on a ferry, I, I drive the car onto a ferry and it's like a two hour uh, trip across the ocean to the next island over. And I have posted pictures on Instagram and, and Facebook and things like that. So you've probably seen those. But uh, what else? Uh, well, Grace, Grace is starting kindergarten this week. Yes. So we're both scared and excited about that. Uh, Grace is very excited because she, I think she needs that outlet. She needs to get out of the house and mix and mingle. She's got so much energy. Uh, so that's good for her. Um, what else? Uh, Jeanlyn's parents, mom and papa, they're here almost every day. They show up yes. early in the morning with bread, and and uh, it's it's kind of it's cute. It's I, I can only say it's cute. Uh, her papa, he uh, even though we don't own the property around us, he has cleared everything. He's planted gardens. We have corn growing across the street. We have green beans over here, uh, so that's funny. Uh, but a lot of time with family every Friday night. We do a movie night, and that's fun. Uh, so uh, I'm just trying to think what else to talk about. Uh, covered church. I covered work. Uh, work is is craziness. <laughs> I mean, it really is. It's it's craziness. I have traveled. Um, I I have one particular location that I go to at least once a month, if not twice a month, and that's that's a, a half a day trip uh, there, half a day trip back. Um, and that's in Ilo Ilo City and again I've posted pictures from that before. Uh, a few weeks ago I went to Palawan. We have a solar installation over there that uh, I was over there doing some maintenance, some upgrades. Uh, and then we have, uh, we were in Manila. Uh, one of the one of my associates were, we were in Manila last week uh, for a couple of days uh, doing, we had some meetings but we also went to a solar uh, show. We went to like a fair, like a uh, they have booths and you go around and you look at all of the, the technology and stuff that's out and so that was fun, uh, educational for me especially. Um, and uh, still doing uh, some freelance uh, consulting, I'm still doing uh, drone work, I'm working on a job in Nashville actually right now as we speak, uh, so that's good. Um, so you know just work is just kind of crazy and all over the place but uh, but that keeps it super interesting. and. Um, on one hand, I didn't know that I was going to be working as much as I am, but on the other hand, I'm so thankful for it because, as it turns out, we need the money. So, uh, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. This I wanted to keep this like three to four minutes max, and I think we're already at five minutes or something. Yeah. But, uh, <coughs> Of course, I can't say anything because Jean Lynn just keeps talking and talking and talking. <laughs> she won't let just, me say anything. Just keep talking and I'll always say anything. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I guess if I was as pretty as she is, I could just sit and be Come pretty. Come on, I'm trying to be pretty. <laughs> I'm trying here. So, I, I guess, I mean, gosh, that's a very short summary of eight months. Uh, so much has happened in that eight months. Uh, you know, with again with work, with church, with uh, with uh, Grace went to preschool at one church, so and graduated from there. You, again, you may have seen pictures when she graduated. Uh, you know, it's uh, silly things like internet service. You know, fighting with with I've been through two carriers already, and internet service is very challenging. But uh, you know, it's funny because I have to really reel myself in and my high expectations I need to reel those in I need to just go with the flow uh, 
they say, they have a saying here in the, the Philippines, <coughs> uh, Bahala Na. Bahala Na. <laughs> say it again. Bahala Na. Yeah, Bahala <laughs> Na. Uh, which basically just means, you know, just let it go. Just, uh, what's a better way to translate that? What's the uh, Sarah Sarah? Uh, anyway, uh, so you know, Bahala Na, and so. Uh, like, let it go? Yeah, let it go, I think. Oh. Is a good, good. Um, Bahala Na. So, you know, after eight months, I'm getting better. I wouldn't say that I'm fully accomplished at being cool and being chill. Uh, uh, but, you know, the Filipino people are. Uh, are you know, I mean, there's, anyway, I'm going to say what I started out to say. The Filipino people are really incredible people. They're amazing. I mean, if we could all take example, by, uh, they have this, this, uh, this unexplainable contentment. You know, it's, it's like in some cases, uh, you know, they're living their lifestyle or, you know, is not necessarily what we're used to, uh, or what we take for granted, but yet they're they're content, and so you know it's a real blessing, and it's a real learning for me to uh, take example and to allow allow myself to be influenced by by their uh, easy spirits and uh, peaceful spirits and their. Uh, Casual, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm gonna cut a lot of this out. But anyway, so uh, I guess we'll we'll leave it at that for now. Uh, perhaps in other videos we'll delve into some of the individual things a little bit more uh, to keep the content inter interesting. And, and but but again, as I said in the very beginning of this video, uh, the whole idea here is really just. It's a self-indulgence. I mean, we yes, we have people who do ask us questions about, you know, this and that, and you know, uh, especially close family. But you know, for us, this is this is more or less our way of expressing to our friends and family, you know, what's going on with our life, and um, and hopefully uh, you find it interesting. Um, lastly, uh, I'm not going to try to kid anyone. You know, people who know about social media, people who are. are uh, understand the income potential uh, we have no expectation to make a living on YouTube but at the same time if you could just subscribe just subscribe if you have a login to YouTube log in and subscribe uh, it, it actually helps us click like on the video uh, make a comment you know ask a question we'll be watching those uh, and we're we're eager. We when we post a video, we're we're watching to see what the response is going to be. And so uh, uh, I'm also, you know, I mentioned my drone business. Uh, I'm posting on Gale Force Drone. So uh, Gale G A L E dash Force Drone is the name of the YouTube channel. And uh, I'll put, post a link at the bottom of this video to all of these references. But uh, Gina, is this going to my channel? Yeah, we're going to be posting these on Gina Lynn's channel, so uh, uh, so you can look her up at Gina Lynn Godkin, G E N A L Y N, Gina Lynn Godkin. And uh, uh, but if you're watching this video, you'll be seeing it on Gina Lynn Godkin. So just click su subscribe, click subscribe, and click More like, videos. and uh, and then we'll keep posting. So uh, I guess that's it for now. Uh, the commercial's over. Um, Keep us in your prayers. You're all in our prayers. If you have any, and, and by the way, if you have any prayer requests, don't hesitate. Leave a comment. Yes. We'll be happy to take those into our prayer, uh, in our, into our prayer time, and, and, and bring those issues to the Lord with you. Uh, so uh, I didn't talk about ministry, but uh, so much of what's happening and so much of our excitement and enthusiasm really is to do with with the ministry opportunities that are, are beginning to happen. So anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. Hope you're doing well today, <clears throat> this evening, this morning, yes. this afternoon, whatever time it is, whatever time zone you're in, whatever geography you're in. Uh, 
Hello from the Philippines, from Gail and Gina Lynn, and God bless you, and we'll catch you in the next video. Yes. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.